Our goal is to improve tiny disks that mimic the membrane that holds together all living cells so that we can study membrane proteins and the things that attach to them. The membrane of every living cell is made of lipids organized in two layers, a lipid bilayer. We've figured out how to make uniformly sized disks that contain this lipid structure. To make our disks, we begin with a field of even smaller chips made of copper that are spaced apart. These chips attract the ends of a protein that we've introduced. When we add an enzyme, the free end of the protein connects to another point in the protein, and it cuts the molecule at that point, resulting in what is sort of like a belt. Because the chips are spaced apart, the introduced proteins are also kept separate, which prevents them from connecting to each other and making larger disks, which we don't want. And so we end up with disks that are mostly the same size. Next, the lipids self-assemble inside the loop into a bilayer. We've had success in using the disks to see, for the first time ever, how a virus infects a cell. We did this by adding a protein called CD155. This protein attracts a polio virus, which attaches to the disk. Once attached, we see what looks like a pore forming in the disk. Then, RNA from the virus moves through the pore as though infecting a real cell. In the electron microscope image, you can clearly see the nanodisc, the virus, what we think is the pore left by the virus, and the RNA it ejected. We're confident that these nanodisks will be widely used in laboratories and lead to some exciting discoveries.